Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is which of these dice could you use to visualize DNA run on agarose gel? And here is the variance to choose from. Even if you know the correct answer, I still recommend you to watch this video because you probably will learn something new about any of these dice. For example, Kumasi Brilliant Blue is the name of two similar trifenylmethane dyes that were developed for use in textile industry, but now commonly used for staining proteins in analytical biochemistry. And we are looking for dyes which stain DNA. Kumasi Brilliant Blue G250 differs from Kumasi Brilliant Blue R250 by addition of two methyl groups. The suffix R in the name of Kumasi Brilliant Blue R250 is an abbreviation for red, as the blue color of the dye has a slight reddish tint. As for the G variant, the blue color has more greenish tint. The 250 originally denoted the purity of the dye. So as you see, this is not a dye which we are going to use to stain DNA. Next one, POSO S or as the name acid red 112 is a sodium salt of diaza dye of light red color that may be used to prepare a stain for rapid reversible detection of protein bands on nitrocellulose. Here you can see a nitrocellulose membrane stained with Ponso S dye for protein detection during western blotting. The blue bands on the left are protein markers for various molecular weights. So as you see, this is also not a dye of our choice in order to visualize DNA. Next one is crystal violet. This dye is used as histological stain, particularly in gram staining for classifying bacteria. And you can see here bacteria stained with this dye. But alternatively, it also can be used when conducting DNA gel electrophoresis. Crystal violet can be used as non-toxic DNA stain as an alternative to fluorescent intercalating dyes such as acidium bromide, which is next one. Used in this manner, it may be either incorporated into the agarose gel or applied after the electrophoresis process is finished. Used at the extremely small concentration of 0.001% and allowed to stain a gel after electrophoresis for 30 minutes, it can detect as little as 16 nanograms of DNA. So let's check mark this as correct variant to choose from. But also let's talk about azidium bromide. Azidium bromide is commonly used as non-radioactive marker for identifying and visualizing nucleic acid bands in electrophoresis. It fluoresces readily with reddish brown color when exposed to ultraviolet light, intensifying almost 20 fold after binding to DNA. So as you see, this is also can be our choice. So which one to choose, crystal violet or acidium bromide? Both these variants are correct, but crystal violet is more commonly used for gram staining. Those also can be used for DNA visualizing. And azidium bromide is most commonly used for DNA visualizing when running gel electrophoresis. So this is going to be our choice. So as I said, both a crystal violet and acidium bromide are correct answers. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.